Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about chiclet. More specifically, in defense of chiclet. You see a lot of things about both rom-coms, so movies and books. Chiclet, the subgenre of women's fiction, just literature fiction. And it gets a lot of crap. Unnecessarily, in my mind. I'm partially making this video because in the past I might have been one of those people. I had the same kind of issue with just like romance novels so I was like it's so easy it just follows a formula there's no substance. Excuse you past me. Substance? There is substance everywhere. First off reading is great period it doesn't matter the fact that you're reading any genre is great you are reading a book of all the ways that you could spend your time, you're going to do it reading. That helps your mind, that has so many great things, it makes you more empathetic. There is no downside to that. Except when you do it too much and you just sit at home alone at night reading. Which I would not have any experience with. I love books. So why on earth did pass me crap on chiclet and romance novels? But present me, 24 year old me, me now. Me now knows better. I know better about that. The fact that you're reading all is a great thing and if chiclet is what makes you happy that is what's important. And the reason that I even thought about this in the first place was because I just finished Meg Cabot's The Boy Is Back. It's the first, first, first? It's the fourth novel in The Boy series and I read these when I was younger and absolutely loved them and then she's come back with all sorts of books. Meg Cabot. She's come back with all sorts of follow-ups to those books and I just I loved it. It was part like fulfillment of my childhood to see a new one of these and partially I'm older now I can more relate to the people in the story and it's great. Chiclet is great. What was I thinking? So reading is great period. Okay? Okay. Goodreads defines chiclet as genre fiction that mainly focuses on women and their present day issues and does it in kind of like a humorous way. I think that's a great definition of chiclet and by that definition it absolutely has substance. It is addressing current women's issues which is great and I'm using The Boy Is Back as an example because I just read it but it talks about you know having to help your parents as they move on to a new stage in their life whether that's like retirement homes or anything else or dealing with your parents dying or modern day relationships. There's so many things that it addresses and most importantly besides addressing important issues that we deal with today it's usually so uplifting and so lighthearted and after I finish reading them I feel happy. Chiclet I finish the books and I'm happy for the next several hours or days when I think back about how nice that read was. It's enjoyable, it's sometimes easy, sometimes just kind of a mindless entertainment and that is great. Sometimes we need that especially the way that 2016 was and 2017 might be. It's nice to have something where you can just sit and read and enjoy and take a break from the real world. Another thing to address is that chiclet has kind of morphed over time. We crap on chiclet now but we raise up chiclet from the past. Jane Austen, a lot of the things she wrote could have been considered chiclet if it were written with today's time. If Pride and Prejudice was written today it would be dealing with things like familial issues and finding the right partner when you're maybe not sure that that's the route you want to go in and being pressured by money and social standards and social constraints that you don't believe in. That's stuff that Chicklet deals with. Those are real issues and it's great that they're being addressed somewhere in the market. And if you haven't read The Boy Is Back you absolutely should. It's so fun. Just read the entire boy series actually. They're done through emails and text messages and this one is updated for the current time period and it's it's great. Just do it. You are doing yourself a favor. If you're anything like me you will be happy for several hours after reading this. Highly recommended. Meg Caput is my queen. Okay so that was my quick rant on chiclet and why it does have substance, why it is important in our current book marketplace and why I think everyone could benefit from reading it. So if you're in need of any uplifting, go pick up a chiclet book and revel in the greatness. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite chiclet book is or if you think that another genre 
has been crapped on in the media and you do not support that. Let me know. I'm curious. All right. Bye, guys. Just hands. One hand is all you need to say goodbye. All right. Bye, guys. Pink.